welcome to today's video. I am outside, someplace outside, with the whole family, which means the doggies too. I don't know. Oh, so you were wrong. Never mind. No. So uh, we're visiting an area conservation place because we want to because we want to take the dogs for for a walk, and we're on the search for something. But Sam does not know how to get us in to the conservation area. Look, we could go this way. This is a, I don't know what this is, but we don't you jump down there. Come on, Woo! <laughs> we even got Daisy. All right, let's go around. It is gorgeous out today, like so warm. I just have on a, on a sweater. And even we took our horse's blankets off last night. You guys know I tell you all the time that Sam always takes Gabby to see Chino almost, well, every single day she goes to see him. Even when she doesn't ride him, she walks him and spends time with him. So anyway, when they were there last night, they took off his blanket. I do not think this is a good conservation area. <laughs> I feel like it's dangerous. Wow, that's neat. You found a trail? Oh, uh, you're going the wrong way. Don't fall in that water. Molly, come here. Molly, come on up here. It's beautiful here, though. Kevin loves shiny rocks. Here, can you put this battery in your pocket? Because I'm going to need it. Zip it, please. Thank you. Yeah. Don't ever put batteries in your bra. I worry about that because of cancer. Oh my gosh, I did not think we were going to be hiking. Ah, the bushes are prickly. Oh my gosh, this is the day that Laura does not make it. All right. Wait, Mom, you grab my dog. Come here, yeah, let her go. Good girl, she wants to run, Sophie. Yeah, I'm not doing that. This is not a path. Gabby's gonna lead the way. Sam is not a good guide. You are not a good guide, Sam. I got all these prickly things on. <laughs> I know. Me too. I don't think this is open. Ah! I got pricklies. She's just seeing if that's. All right. I'm going back too. <laughs> We're gonna find another one. Honestly. We've been out here for five minutes and we already have. Whoa! Taken our life in our hands. This is nuts! Don't ever follow Sam into the woods, you guys. No matter how trustworthy he looks, you'll end up with burrs everywhere. I have burrs everywhere. Holy no, moly. You, I don't see a single burr on you. I, I just pulled them off. Good job, Sam. Where's okay. Gabby? <laughs> I see Gabby caught. <laughs> Gabby has some always. <laughs> All right, if you have an opportunity to follow or the opportunity to forage and find your own way, always take your own way. Make your own road, guys. Even if... <laughs> All right, you did it. I had to crawl on my hands. I know, I saw you. In the back. The dogs are ready to go. They're like, let's go. I feel like now with COVID, so much has changed and nothing's been kept up. And so like a lot of things that we used to be able to do are no, not available to us now. I don't think this conservation area has been maintained. Just go to the bridge. Open, we'll... Yeah, let's see if we can go to the bridge. This is- Get the in the bucket. <laughs> this is how we bring- And I'm smooth. Daisy in the car. We put a bucket under her face just in case she feels. We thought that we'd be really fast because we went to one that was just down the road from us and it turns out to be a dud. So now we went to it, we're going to another one. You guys can't even see me. We're going to another one that is almost as close as Daisy because she's deaf. Daisy's deaf and so that makes her get car sick. And so we try and only take her places that we know are really close to our house. So it's always like, Ow, <laughs> it's ow, always risky. Ow, 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 ow her foot. Ow, ow, <laughs> Hold ow, it under her, ow, her chin. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> All right, this looks a lot better, Sam. Good job. 
The sign said keep your dog on a leash. The sign says keep your dog on a leash. She is the law. Yeah. Especially <laughs> like during season. Just let your dog go. She's on the leash. <laughs> hey, look, there's a car in there. Oh, the, lots of cars, lots of people here. It is so warm out today that when we were walking here, we actually saw a lot of people outside walking in like with their kids and pushing strollers and kids playing out on the street and stuff. We walked. When we were driving here, I meant to say. It's beautiful here. We've never been here before. All right, so Gabby wants to look at the map. Let's go to the tower. Let's well, go to the, to the Oh, they even have a washroom here, a porta potty. I know. Sophie's like Sophie and I are like let's race to the bathroom. Yeah. All right, this is what living with Gabby is like. Actually, I think I'm gonna get my jacket. Can you? Open? So this is the way to the lighthouse or the tower. Yeah, you can... no there. Oh, wow, that is not my yeah, idea of fun. Down. Okay. All right, here we go. You can go up the stairs or up the path. Yeah, drag me up the path. Sam's already halfway up. Come on, stop smelling everything. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's go, little Daisy. Stairs are never easier because... Oh, my God. Oh, this is steep. Stairs are never easier because you have to bend your knees differently. It's nice when you have a dog to pull you up, though. Holy cow. It never ends. I give up, too. Oh, I've been healthy my whole entire life. My whole life, I've been so healthy. And then... Now, I have asthma, and it actually affects you, like, it's an awful feeling, not being able to get breath. But I made it to these gorgeous woods, imagine these woods were our horse's pasture, carrying her dog up that tower. No, oh yeah, I see her, oh my gosh, what a kid, oh, you guys, look. <sighs> Carrying the dog. <laughs> Poor Molly. Now she's carrying her down. <laughs> oh my gosh. If we came here every day, we'd be fit. We'd be fit or dead. Should come here we should come here every day. There's a lot of people here, though. But honestly, oh I've exercise induced oh asthma. Did you know that about me, Sam? What? I have exercise induced asthma. Yeah, that's an excuse. Yeah. Exercise excused asthma. <laughs> I know. It's awful. So I'm good all the time except for oh, when I. Got burrs in your tail. Yeah, huh. I wonder why she's got burrs in her tail. Huh? Yeah. Who, who did that to us? It's okay. Know. You're okay. Don't have a brush. We'll do it at home. We'll do it. <laughs> Who's my dog? Have a brush. Get that tail away from me. She's putting burrs in the dog. Here comes Gabby. So I don't see any willow trees. What do they look like? We need to go someplace where there's willow trees. What happened? <laughs> she wouldn't go up the stairs? <laughs> yeah, we got it on video. Gabby has exercise induced asthma too. And then you have to carry her down the steps. Almost halfway up. I mean, you yeah, you want me to hold her and you go up? <laughs> yeah, we are the lazy vloggers. Gabby through the woods and Sam and Sophie went back to the car 
And then I found another opening onto the road right here. And then I was like, oh, I'm not walking back up that big hill. I'll just sit here and wait for them to come and pick me up. Yeah, hopefully nobody drives by. I look silly sitting here on the side of the road. Hi guys, we're at the barn, Gabby and I. We, you know, we like to check up on our boys, so we're gonna check up on them and take them for a little walk. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We already had their blankets off. We take the blankets off yesterday because it was a really nice day today. Tomorrow's supposed to be really nice too, so we'll leave the blankets off for now. But yeah, we just like to check up on them and take them for a walk. All right, we got Gabby over there. Whoa, Finny, Finny. Oh, whoa, whoa, Finn. Whoa, Finn. <laughs> I'm up Finn, we're in the indoor arena. Just gonna walk them around in here. Maybe let them have some free time. And the arena to roll, because it's like to roll. Oh my gosh, what's all over your... Somebody's been eating on your back here. He's got corn, <laughs> carrots all over his back. You got carrots all on your back, Finn. Carrots. Yeah. Finn likes me. Finn likes me, all right. So, yes, it's your brother, yeah. All right, let's go for a walk. I'm gonna walk ya. I'm gonna walk Finn. Put the lights on, but the lights don't go on until it gets dirt dark now earlier because it's an hour behind. It's actually 4.30 and it's gonna be dark by five now. Right, Finn, Finn's behind me. Portino lost his shoe. He still has the other shoe on? Yeah. Mm. One shoe. Finn is like a puppy dog. Look at him. He's like Daisy. Likes to cuddle. You like to cuddle with me? Like to cuddle? Like to cuddle with me? <laughs> He's like a puppy dog. Come on. Go for a walk, puppy dog. <laughs> I'm just going around, man. I let Finn lead. But he doesn't want to lead, he just wants to follow me around. All right. We're gonna race, we're gonna race. Ready, come on, Finn. We're gonna beat Gabby to the end. We're gonna beat Gabby to the end. We're gonna beat Gabby to the end. Come on, Finn. Get in the camera shot here. We won. A little race and we won, didn't we, Finn? Gabby's now walking them both because I had to clean up Finn's poop. Finn is like a pooper. Like you wouldn't believe. There you go, Finn. Have a nice walk. Wanna go have your supper now? Go have your supper. Good boy. Go have your supper. I got no pockets. Go have your supper, Finn. Go have your supper. All right, Gino. We'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna come back tomorrow. You gonna eat your supper? You gonna eat your supper now? Can anybody tell which dog glows in the dark? Oddly, this one does not, and she's white. Come on in, Penny Pickle. Five years ago today was a special day. Special day? Special day. Five years ago, you guys, what was it? What was the special day? Can you guys guess? No. Stop the video and comment below. Five years today, we got our very first horse. Yeah, it wasn't our horse. We didn't get to keep her, but we <laughs> kept her for a year. <laughs> oh, are you mad? It's up the time, even though it's an hour behind. Yeah. Penny is. <laughs> Where are you going to eat? You guys can't see them. You guys may not be able to see her, but you can hear her. She always is a little grouchy at supper time. Anyway, uh, five years ago today marks the day that we got this big, gorgeous chestnut mare, which was our very first introduction to horses. You guys know, if you've been following for any length of time, that she was a struggle. If you don't know, then go back and check out some of our later videos because literally that girl taught us so much about being horse owners, like stubborn as heck. She did not want to go from the barn to the riding arena ever. And she did not go to the arena. I think we did win every single time, but sometimes we had to get help and it was a big struggle. She taught us so much and five years, you guys, five years we've owned horses or we've had horses. We've been responsible for horses. It seems like forever, but it's just been five years. 
super grateful, super happy, wouldn't change it for a thing. YouTube has changed the experience for sure. If we had got horses without YouTube, I think it would have been a totally different experience. <laughs> Maybe a little calmer, a little more relaxed, a little less worried, but you guys help teach us a lot of things about horses too. And so I'm gonna just end the video today and show you guys the clip of when we got our first horse because it came up in my feed today and it gave me goosebumps and I hope it does that for you guys too because I want it to be a reminder to all of you that you can have what you want, what you dream for, what you wish for. As long as you keep believing and keep dreaming, you will achieve your dreams. I promise you that. Always wanted to buy our own farm and to have our own horses. We always wanted our kids to grow up around horses, but we had never grown up around horses and we didn't know where to begin. Our journey to having our own horse has been a really long one. If you've been following our journey, you'll know that we debated between buying a horse and leasing a horse. And even though it was a super hard decision, we decided in the end to start out, leasing would be better for us. I'm excited to introduce you guys to our brand new lease horse. last two weeks spending time with our horse and getting to know her having so much fun with her we learned so much just from getting Sabrina like how to muck out stalls how to feed her and make sure that she's safe and clean and warm. Learning how to overcome her stubbornness has been a quite the experience. up here with Sabrina. This is only the beginning. She may only be a lease horse, but in our hearts she belongs to us, at least for now. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 